Okay, this is going to be the last series of um, videos for the game. Um, I probably will try to end this up in a ne this next series. Okay, so um, where we left off was we finished our hit detection, and uh, when uh, when we shoot the target, we get the trace hit, and uh, we're going to continue from here. And um, first of all. I'm going to go back up to the top. I've already kind of gone through this, so um, I'm going to start changing a few things to make things work in the long run. One of the things that I'm going to change right off the bat is I'm going to, on the first line, I'm going to put um, a uh, variable uh, current level, and I'm going to set it, um, let's see here, to... Uh, number all right and I'm gonna set that equal to one and the reason I'm gonna do that is I wanna load a variable right off the bat uh, from my current level of my movie and then when the init game function gets called we'll load that in there so then I'm gonna go down to the bottom of the init game function right and I'll set variable level to current level and what this is going to do is, is that when we go to level two, I'm going to recall the init game function, and then level will be passed the current level at that time, which might be level two or level three. Instead of hard coding level one, you know, var level equals one, and hard coding that right into my init game function. Um, uh, so that's the first thing. And then the other thing I'm going to do is, right after I put in the the var level. I'm also going to put var score colon make it a number and set that to zero. All right. Now, now that I've got those two, I'm going to go back up here and I'm going to remove this line. Don't need that anymore. And I'm going to go to rifle depth, and I'm going to change my rifle depth to um, 90,000. You're going to see why in a minute. I'm going to post a scoreboard to the bottom portion of the screen, which has our timer and our score. And um, if I don't change the rifle depth to a higher number, then, um, then the rifle will go underneath the scoreboard, and, that, and that's not as cool. So that's why I'm doing that, just letting you know ahead of time. All right, and then... Uh, Right after screen depth is where I'm going to put my scoreboard depth. So I'm going to say var scoreboard underscore depth um, strict data typing. I'm going to make it 10,003, I believe. So it'll be just one level up. Okay. So we've got that going on for us. And maybe I will also, if I scroll down here, I'm going to look at where I attached my movies here. Screen, target. Here's another problem that I want to fix. When I hit control enter on my movie, you can see that the duck, the target, is in the upper left hand corner. Can you see it there in the upper left hand corner? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set targets x position equal to negative 500 and that will get it or negative 300 I believe in my case will get it right off the screen okay so these are all things that I'm doing right here in my init game function alright and then um, what we're gonna do now is I'm going to have to um, attach the scoreboard and I'm going to do that right um, after I attach screen MC. So right in here, I think I'll do this here. I'm going to say attach movie, and I'm going to attach scoreboard underscore MC. Okay. I'm going to give it a new name of scoreboard underscore MC, and I'm going to set it to the scoreboard underscore depth. 
Okay. Now, here's the thing. I haven't actually built the scoreboard movie clip yet, so that's the next thing that I'm going to do. But when I do build it, I'm just going to tell you right off the bat that it's going to be scoreboard, let's see here, um, underscore mc dot underscore x will be equal to, let's say, 5. So it'll be all the way on the left-hand side of the screen. Okay. And the y variable, just copy this and paste it right here. The y variable, scoreboard underscore mc uh, y variable will be equal to about 555. So it'll be down at the bottom of the screen. Okay. And then I'm going to add a couple more things in there too. And in the next movie, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, we're going to keep working on this and we're going to build that scoreboard movie clip.